Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market update. This is a spy update. It's 1.30 Eastern Time on Monday, March 3rd. This is the first trading day of the month of March. And boy, oh boy, this definitely, definitely is turning out to be uh, a tricky day for people, okay? I am seeing this market as bullish, and I actually believe that we close today uh, looking almost exactly like this or green. So I know people are trying to short, actually we're going right now, small body here. I know people are trying to short this market, but that wasn't the play today, okay? Actually, the market was a long, immediately right out of the gate, aggressively long, right out of the gate. And I saw it this morning, not at 8 o'clock. I actually saw the gap this morning at, at, at around 7.45, 8 o'clock, and I thought, hmm, maybe we're, we are going to pull in today. But then I looked at it again between 8.30 and 9 and said, no, no, we're going to hold today. This is actually strong. So every time the market has a chance to come in, it does not do it. The market is, look, 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 buy the market. There is no short play here. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the market to go over the high of the day here now. All right, let's look at it. <clears throat> so this was a tough day for people if they did not read this correctly. Why? Because the market is not coming in. You can have all the news in the world going on and say, what if this, what if that? But the fact is you can see every time the market pulls in, it's not doing it. Selling happens, aggressive selling happens with lots of red. Selling, aggression, catastrophe. You can feel the selling when it comes in. You can feel the weakness in something. I feel no weakness in this market. I have 100% conviction this market is higher, and I still do even after today. If anything, this makes me get conviction the market is confirming that it's higher. 183.88 is a low over here. Today, 183.75. Again, these are areas. This is an area. Market came in today, bounced immediately off this area. It did break the low of the day, but happened late. Happened late. And we're actually, it's going to depend how we close today, what happens exactly tomorrow, plus how we got. But let's go back here and look here at the morning move. And if people aren't trading this right today, they're getting chopped up to bits and pieces. Here's the market, double bottom here into the first five minutes of the day. Could have bought the market here in a one minute buy setup or aggressively over the high, stop under the low of the day, boop, rally, rally up. You have to be out of at least half this trade, if not more. Now, the market came in, came in and tried to break the low here, but held. You could have bought the market again here. Actually, it did not make it back up to the high at this point at this buy. But if you took this trade, you made money. If you took this trade, you got stopped out. And if you bought the market again here into the dip down here into the 12 o'clock major reversal time bounce, you're up. So the calls today, the momentum today was to the upside in the market, not the downside. Why? Because we're in a bullish trend. We're in a bullish uptrend and this market is not waiting to come in. Just because something has one red bar or two red bars is not a pull and make. And if the market wanted to sell off today on news that's happening in the world or for any reason, any reason at all, if the market just wanted to sell off today, it should, it could have, it should have, it might have, it did not. And if it had, it would be at 182. It'd be at 180. It's just not going to happen, Okay. So the low of the day could have been set right into the open. It was for a brief period of time. It broke it. It broke it way too late. To go anywhere today in the market isn't going to close red today. Market will close like a doji, neutral. Neutral bias here for the close today or green with a small body green or potentially medium body. But we're not going to close red today in this market. And if we close in the way that I believe that we will close, neutral or small bullish or medium bullish, We'll have to see where we got tomorrow morning, but it shows strength in the market. And and this this is if this sets up here in a five minute, it's gonna fail. This five minute sell set up here happening in the market here at 130 is not gonna fall through. It's gonna fail. So I'm not saying this isn't difficult to read because there's too much back and forth going on here because traders are desperate to short this market for some play. Some momentum, I get it, because it gets tough to keep buying something that is higher and higher and higher, and yet you have to because the market's in an uptrend. Now, again, I don't play the market straight on. I do gaps as my strategy, and I don't need the market for my gaps to work. But that being said, if you need the market for the strategy you play or any type of momentum in a stock, you're, you're having a difficult time the last two weeks. And today, too, because people are making an attempt at the short. Once again, just like they did back here and here as well, failed here, failed here. It's failing today. This is The market is completely flat. The market's sitting here right at the open. 
Okay, and it's 1.30 in the afternoon. And if the market wanted to sell off, it very well could. So the shorts are not winning this battle. The bulls are in control, and aggressively so. So we will see how this closes today. It'll really depend how bullish we close today here to see what happens tomorrow and then where we gap into the open tomorrow. But the bulls are in control. They are setting the tone here. Every little teeny weeny dip down is getting bought. Huge, huge bottoming tail here in the market into 12 o'clock major reversal time. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you want more information and would like to know how to read charts or gaps or market direction, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. It's 1.30 Monday, March 3rd. We'll see how the market closes here today. I'm doing the next gap course this coming weekend, March 8th and 9th. If you would like to sign up or want more information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great afternoon.